basically the worst case scenario happened where uh, there's a hole, a super duper invitation to infection. So I had to get a surgery. What happened was that night, uh, Monday night, I had to get another surgery. So surgery 34 um, happened. When I woke up from surgery, it was pretty nauseous. I think they went a little heavy on the anesthesia, maybe, because I was throwing up for maybe 24 hours until they got me on the right medicine, like right anti-nausea medicine. So now I'm uh, back at my aunt's house for a little bit. Um, I have no idea when I'm allowed to go home at this point because I have three drains instead of two. Um, so I guess at this point I have a doctor's appointment on Monday and today is Saturday. So we'll see what he says. Maybe I can go home. <laughs> I'm not sure. But um, yeah, it's it's kind of sucked. <laughs> but... I'm trying to make the most of it. I have some projects I've been working on and trying to call friends and stuff like that when they're not at work. I started getting uh, nerve pain in my back, which uh, I now know is really excruciating. Um, so I was up most of, I would say, a Thursday night into Wednesday. Uh, just in a lot of pain um, and then I took some of uh, the, my prescribed painkillers um, which I was a little wary about doing after the heart palpitations but I was just in so much pain and I immediately started feeling kind of crappy and it did put me to sleep for the night, but it just made me so groggy the next day. It blurred my vision. But the worst part of it is that I got a really bad temperature. Uh, it was 102, and it took me um, a good few hours to come back to a normal temperature. And now I have like these weird, I don't know if you could see on the camera, you could kind of see it. There's uh, like red blotches that are hot to the touch on my skin now. So, um... That wasn't very fun, but um, besides for the blotchy skin and also just from the pain, my jaw right here, I guess since I was clenching so much through the pain, um, it's kind of sore right now. Um, and also I haven't been able to shower and uh, I haven't had the strength to just get into the shower in the last four days, so that's why I look kind of... Uh, utterly disgusting right now and greasy, but um, you know, uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to uh, take care of that today. I still have in my drains, I'm hoping on Monday that they all come out. Um, I feel pretty confident that two of them are going to come out. Uh, hopefully all three will come out, that would be wonderful. And uh, I know a lot of the stitches in my back are going to come out. I don't think the stitches in my front are going to come out yet. I think I still need, uh, that's what the extra week is for. So that's, I guess, kind of where I'm at. Um, I'm glad to be feeling better. I actually got downstairs and outside today on my own, which I haven't been able to do that. And uh, let's see, well, today is Saturday, so I haven't been able to do that since Tuesday, really. So happy to be feeling better. A little sick of uh, medicine side effects. I feel like I didn't used to get this many side effects when I was younger. Um, also, I know that I've been exposed to a lot of medicine since I've had now 34 surgeries. Um, so I know my body will react differently since I've probably been exposed m more so than normal. I just don't like getting tons of side effects. It sucks. I once um, had a surgery and a doctor gave me Ambien. And I had like waking nightmares. It's like polar opposite of, you know, what you're supposed to. It was like everything was, uh, I don't know, just hyperactive in my head. 
when I took that stuff. So that was <laughs> that was kind of terrifying, actually. So um, that was probably the worst side effect that uh, I could remember. Um, I would say that fever last night was pretty awful, though, too. But um, that's where I'm at right now. And yeah, I'll keep doing these and until I uh, look like a normal person again. <laughs> All right, goodbye. So the last time that I talked to you, I believe that I had just gotten over a fever. Uh, Tuesday night, I had a really bad fever. I felt better in the morning, but then uh, Wednesday night throughout the west, rest of the week, I believe the following Monday, I had fevers. Then they discovered that um, it was actually the antibiotic that I've been on. And normally that antibiotic, uh, people aren't on for so long. So I started to develop just strange symptoms. I was having trouble uh, maintaining my body temperature. Um, I had low grade fevers. I wasn't able to sleep. Um, eating became much more difficult. So just general not fun. <laughs> and uh, oh, and then I got the, the redness on my elbows and knees. Uh, I I believe they said that that was from a, like just joint inflammation. I went to go see another doctor and she was just saying that sometimes those uh, rashes and the joint inflammation can just come from uh, having such a high grade fever. I also got some tests done while I was at that doctor just to confirm that I do not have any infection and it's been confirmed I am infection free so that's good. Um, they have me on a very low uh, dose antibiotic now, and I'm seeming to do better on that. I did have a little trouble sleeping last night when I took it, so I'm just, just not supposed to take it that late at night anymore. So hopefully tonight I'll be able to sleep um, a little bit easier. I was, <laughs> was up probably for most of the night, which uh, was frustrating, but I did get some sleep, so that's good. Um, I, ha I was able to get one of my drains taken out, so I'm down to two. I'm hoping now that I'm feeling well that um, the, uh, the drainage, <laughs> the drains will, uh, I'm not sure what word to use for that, but basically the drains fill with the liquid inside my body, which is super gross. Uh, they smell awful, by the way, now. <laughs> um, but, um, I guess whenever I would feel sick, they would drain more. So now that I'm not feeling sick anymore, which is delightful, might I add you. Oh, and big bonus, I finally got a shower. I have clean hair. I know I have it up here. Yeah. Clean hair, yay, yay for clean hair. So, um, which is very exciting not to smell bad. So uh, now I've been uh, just draining less. I'm really, really hoping that these drains will come out on Monday because as soon as these drains come out, then I could get off all of the medicine, antibiotic, and stuff like that. Um, honestly, right now, all the only thing I'm on is an antibiotic just because my body is not happy with medicine right now. <laughs> um, which is understandable. I, you know, went through two surgeries, which means two doses of anesthesia. Then plus, I, n I never have to take the painkillers, and I've had to take quite a few painkillers this time. I have had a lot of medicine in my life, so sometimes medicine affects me a little bit differently than normal people, because I'm not normal people, apparently. Yay. Um, so anyway, at least at this point, I'm really, really happy to report that I'm finally back on track and getting healthy. And as soon as I can get these two drains out, I'm, I'm good. I'm, you know, on my way again. Uh, I also, um, let's see, also I have just gone to see, um, God, I'm going to butcher saying that, cardiologist, I think? The heart doctor. I think that's how you say it. 
but um, I went to go see them because they'd been worried about me having the heart palpitations, which I've had heart palpitations um, for a very long time. I got it checked out once before and, you know, I had to wear the heart monitor and of course when you wear a heart monitor, you never have a heart palpitation. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm going to be, uh, as soon as I get these drains out, be wearing a heart monitor um, to see if maybe I, if I do have a heart palpitation, they could start trying to figure out what it was from. I'm a little afraid that since I've had so many heart palpitations, I'm not going to have one while I'm wearing the monitor, but we'll see. Hopefully I'll have one and they'll get their information and then I won't have to wear it for the full like 30 days. So, you know, we'll see. <laughs> so they gave me one um, and I've noticed that the standard for things are usually made for like regular sized men. Um, I'm a pretty petite woman. Like I'm five foot tall uh, lady. Um, so when I put the <laughs> when I put the heart monitor on my chest, so there's this big sticker, and you take that sticker and you kind of like stick it over you. But when I stick it over me, it either goes over my entire chest or it goes over my shoulder where um, I'm pretty sure it's not getting a good reading because it told me it was getting like, I wore it for, well, I wore it all last night and the first two hours it was like, oh, I'm getting a reading. And then after the first two hours, it was just like, it just wasn't sticking to me properly or just wasn't getting the reading properly. I don't know. But I'm tiny, so I called them up and they're gonna get me a child's heart monitor. <laughs> so they're sending me a pediatric monitor. Um, oh, and they're sending me ones with the hyperallergenic uh, stickery things, because at this point I've had so much tape on me, my skin is starting to rash. So if I'm gonna have to wear this for a month, I wanna wear the hyperallergenic ones. Uh, so that's kind of where I'm at now. I'm so relieved to finally feel normal and be somewhat sleepy normally. When I, um, there was like two days that I, I was off the antibiotics and I felt great and I could sleep and it was like amazing. But um, it's, it's, it is safer for me to be on antibiotics while I have the drains in me because I mean, there's basically two holes in the side of my body. So <laughs> granted, I understand they're nervous about that. Uh, which every right to be. So yeah, now um, I feel better and I have clean hair, I have clean me. So I just wanna say one of the reasons why I haven't actually shown uh, myself going through like being in the hospital or showing me with my muscle spasms or my fever or some, or just the things like that with my aunt trying to help me out, my parents trying to help me out, my husband trying to help me out. It's just too hard to just say, hey, go get the camera and, you know, so we could uh, show what's going on. And plus, anyways, honestly, I, I would imagine it's probably not fun to watch me go through some of this stuff. Hi, so I finally gotten all of my stitches out. It took um, an extra week, um, so it's been two weeks since the last video. And um, so they took out half of my stitches and then uh, the next Monday after they took out the rest of my stitches. So at this point I have no stitches and no drains, which is wonderful, which also means I could finally go home, which I'm super excited about. And um, I guess that's really it. <laughs> so now, um, I guess it's just more going home and just seeing kind of the aftermath of um, me getting back into my life that's been on hold for two months now. <laughs> so um, it's nice to kindly, kindly, it's nice to finally feel uh, semi-normal. And uh, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Try to get back to something more normal. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at now. All right, um...